Hey there guys, it's Mr. Herbst here and today our focus is going to be on animal communication. Uh, communication is simply defined as an action that is sent out by an organism that causes another organism to behave in a certain way. And there are really only four different ways that that occurs. That can occur with chemical communication, auditory, visual, or tactile communication. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go into is chemical communication. This is communicating through chemicals. Um, this is not very common in human beings. We really don't have the ability to uh, uh, communicate through chemicals or smells so much anymore. But if you take a look over here, as kind of disturbing as it is, that, that cheetah there is urinating on a tree. It's kind of marketing, marking its territory. Um, so other cheetahs that may smell those compounds or those chemicals that are in the urine are going to say, hey, that cheetah was here before me. Uh, maybe I shouldn't follow this chemical trail. Another really good example of chemical co communication is with insects. Insects, uh, especially ants, are almost entirely blind. Really, the only way that they actually communicate is through pheromones and sending out uh, different chemicals um, that say different things. Another type of animal communication is auditory communication, speaking with sound um, and what sound, how sound can make another organism act a certain way. Um, certain, certainly, chimps uh, build sort of uh, little societies, and they have they make different sounds depending on what's going on. A lot of organisms also have like a, a distress call where they'll send out a, a large yelp and that yelp will be alert to everybody, hey watch out. And you know what's really interesting is you ever wondered kind of why um, why is that chalkboard, nails on the chalkboard sound or that stool rubbing across the the floor such a disturbing sound? Well it's really interesting. We actually find out that the frequency uh, that's given off by organisms that give off distress calls is the same frequency that of nails on the chalkboard or the sound given off by a stool going across uh, a floor. And so that just really gives you alertness like, hey, whoa, let me, uh, let me find out what's going on. Another really good example of organisms that uh, communicate auditorily is um, dolphins. Dolphins make a whole bunch of squeaks and whistles and that's kind of their, uh, their language. In fact, um, besides human beings, dolphins are said to have the uh, most complex language um, other than human beings. Another type of animal communication is through visual co communication. What, what can you see? And this typically happens uh, uh, only in organisms that are out during the day. Organisms that uh, are out at night don't really communicate very well uh, visually because, you know, there's nothing to see. But if you take over here, this crab here is giving off that, uh, hey, don't mess with me, you know, I'm gonna, are you going to get pinched type signal. He's giving off a, a, a warning signal uh, to uh, potential predators. Um, this here is a bird uh, that lives in Papua New Guinea. Um, it's one of the birds of paradise. Um, that is a male bird, and he's being really all flashy and trying to show off um, so he can attract females. That's another type of visual communication. And I bet if you have a dog at home, you may have seen your dog do this at least once, where they kind of show their teeth, like, hey, you know, don't mess with me. I have big teeth. I'm going to bite you. So those are all really good examples of uh, visual communication. And finally, our fourth one is tactile communication. This is uh, can be subbed up in one word. This is uh, communication that occurs through touching. And so um, when baby birds are hungry, they'll often kind of peck at their mother and say, hey, you know, mom, I'm hungry. Feed me. Another type of uh, tactile communication um, is in a lot of monkeys and apes where they'll sort of, um, they'll sort of groom each other. And that's sort of, the, uh, sort, sort of the, the signal, hey, you know, let's kind of relax. Let's, uh, let's not worry too much about what's going on. Let's sort of groom each other and all get kind of healthy. Well, anyway, guys, that short PowerPoint concludes animal communication. Uh, don't forget to complete the Google form below. This is Mr. Herbst. I'm signing off, folks, and you all have a nice day.